Hello everybody, we're back with Black Rose, and I'm guessing we're gonna go through this door. Nope, we're not going- Oh dear god, that scared the living piss out of me, holy shit. Why? Was that like a nurse or something? Okay, just gonna try this door. Nope, not that door. Okay. Taking a while, I guess we're supposed to follow him. I'm gonna go up there though. Just because it's faster. Hi! Okay. I really don't want to follow this guy, but something tells me we're gonna go into that far room over there. There's a note. Neat. Let's see what it says. Miss Reigns, please tell your son to stop playing under the tables during the funeral services. It's disruptive and upsetting to the grieving families. Today he has also stole one of the keys to the visualation, visitation room and was later attempting to open one of the drawers in the morgue. This type of behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. If you do not start controlling him, I will take it upon myself to personally teach him a lesson. Michael, I'm gonna beat his little ass. That's what I'll do. Sweet. Look at that. Can I open you? Can I... Oh, okay. To make things even weirder, this place has a serious lockdown system. Yesterday was the first time I've ever seen it used, and many of the workers, including myself, were ordered to wait in the family room until the situation was taken care of. No one I've spoken to about it knows why it was done, or at least they won't say. All I know is that these safety glass windows and electronic gates appear to be designed for keeping things in rather than out. Well, alrighty then. I was the first responder that day was the first and only person to make it to Myrtle's side before she passed away. She managed to give Sullivan a parting I love you on that baby monitor, but that was the last communication they ever had. The last thing she ever did was give me that piece of paper. It was a short poem she had written for Sullivan earlier that day. She asked me to give it to him, and I promised her I would. Then she slipped away. I guess Sullivan had picked up by Myrtle's weak rasping in the baby monitor that something was happening to her, because soon after she'd passed, he came running into the hall from the upstairs arrangement room. But he was too late. She was gone. That's when he broke down. I'd never seen him show so much emotion towards Myrtle before. Then, of course, the rest happened. I'll keep my promise, even now. It's all I can do for my dear friends. That's really sad. Hmm. I don't know what to say about that. It's really quiet. That doesn't make any noise. Oh, is that new? There are a lot of strange things I've seen around this place. For instance, the fireplace that isn't even a real fireplace. It's some kind of ladder shaft, but there's a tough metal grate fastened over it that appears to be controlled electronically, most likely by the lockdown system. I'm assuming the shaft leads down to the basement, but it must have been sealed off because it's not accessible from anywhere down there. Another thing I've started wondering about is the metal handle that's been sitting on Michael's desk for about a week, a month now, not a week, a month. God. I asked about it once out of curiosity, but he avoided giving me a direct answer. He told me it broke off of something. I had already assumed this, seeing it was covered in dirt and rust around the edges where it had clearly been attached to something for a very long time. Perhaps the biggest mystery I've encountered here is the place Myrtle always went for privacy. She was often depressed, so she was always going down 
going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. However, she seemed to vanish. The only place she could have gone from that hallway is down into the basement. But I went down there one day to ask her something and I couldn't find her. I'm wondering if there's a secret room down there, hidden down there somewhere, sentence of structures not even counting anymore. After all, I did learn from Michael that this building from the 1600s, long before it was ever a stream of things. This building is from the 1600s. Okay, yeah. Building as old as this one sometimes got a few secret areas. Okay, that's cool. Thanks for the hints. But why is it so quiet? I can't even hear my footsteps anymore. I still haven't buried them. Sullivan has been laying in this coffin now for two days and Myrtle for three. Because Conrad, Conrad refused to touch Myrtle's coffin after her funeral, it had to be put aside for so, so Sullivan could have his. Conrad still simply doesn't want to have anything to do with the burial of either one of them, even if all he's doing is preparing a future grave without actually touching the coffins. I'm starting to wonder if he had some type of unpleasant encounter with Myrtle and Sullivan's coffins or heard some absurd rumor about their corpses. Yeah, it's not a rumor. It's pretty, it's pretty real. What's sad is that Myrtle and Sullivan don't have relatives who care enough about their burials to actually do something about this. Michael was embarrassed to have to tell all their relatives and friends that the actual burials couldn't be held yet. Even so, none of them objected. Maybe they just didn't see a point in doing so, considering the person they would be doing it for is already gone. I don't know. As far as feeling nervous around coffins, I do get a strange vibe now and then in the visiting room. Visitation room. The atmosphere in there is starting to feel different. The air feels heavier, a bit more oppressive even. It seems to be more noticeable day today than it was yesterday. I can't read today to save my life. I'm not quite sure if I believe in ghosts or not, but it seems to fit what I've heard before about locations having uncomfortable negative energy due to evil or extremely upset spirits. Maybe it's just normal, stuffy air. There aren't any windows in there, and it's the middle of summer. It could be it. Or it could be a demon. Or two. Why is it so quiet? Turns out that Devin got into the morgue by stealing Sullivan's keycard from the office. Miss Raines had been in there and forgot to lock it when she left. Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a flake his mother is, that's probably just something else she inadvertently compromised. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home. I guess so. Blah, blah, blah. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home, I guess, because he heard. He had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Mike revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's keycard, of course. They would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches and the chance that it was stolen, but then again, Miss Reigns would be do would be the one who would do that. Okay? So many names being thrown around. I discovered earlier today that Devin had stolen the system lock override key as well and hid it somewhere in the building. This has to be the most troublesome, I'll be ill behaved kid I have ever encountered. Okay. Oh, okay, there's It turns up Okay, that's cool. Probably I just had to hit the tab button and the music came back. That's neat. That is the creepiest children I've seen. Sullivan Myrtle as children. No wonder they become demons. They say that if you take... His rose, he wakes up. That's the only way his coffin will open. I heard that he also tears you into three pieces if he catches you. That's great. 
No, there's not. Okay. So what's that? Can I can can I read that? Maybe no. Okay, let's just keep on keeping on. Then. All those attending the funeral service for Sullivan James, please gather in the visitation room. This is very creepy. I'm just gonna point that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what was that, nine? Nine spirits, that's great. I have to deal with that. Amazing drawing there, bud. What is that, a refrigerator? And then you open the door and there's a key, or what? I don't know. Hey everyone, I see your eyes. If those are eyes. Oh. That's actually kind of cool. I wouldn't mind having that in my house. Let's see. Dare you, dare you, double dare you. There's a black one guy who was laying on top of the coffin. Take it. Yep, sure. Run away. <gasps> Sullivan James was blind as a bat. Sullivan James fell down flat. Sullivan James is withered and blue. Sullivan James is coming for you. How about we open the door now? Okay, stop. He's hopping like a little frolicking bunny. That is terrifying. Can I go through here? No, I can't. Oh, God. My voice cracked. So what do I do about this? Uh, let's put that back. Nope, okay. We can't put that roast back. That's great. That's awesome. If you could stay away, that'd be great. Stay over there on the other side of the room, that'd be awesome. Please open. Wait, open! Oh, thank God. Move your ass! Where are we going? We're going up the stairs. That's where we're going. He's very fast. Of course I can go through a wall. Gosh, that wouldn't be that. Let's go up here. Yeah. The other ghost. I was kind of hoping if I opened the other coffin that the ghosts would fight each other and they would like leave me alone. It didn't work. It didn't work at all. Okay, we're back. We're back. Everything's fine. Everything's back to normal.
Yeah, eight. There's eight of them. Let's try this door. Maybe, uh... Maybe it won't work and we're screwed. That's awesome. How are we supposed to go down here? Maybe. fell where some of them was. Okay. It's over. For now. Okay. Okay. All you're supposed to do is survive. That's cool. That's just fucking great. Let's see what other atrocities await me. To click. Count the lines between the lines. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Okay, let's try one. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. So, one, three, two, two, maybe, perhaps. Nope, that's a negatory. Okay. 
So. Count the lines between the lines. One six two five. Let's try that. Nope. Oopsie. Took a screenshot of that. Just wanted to make sure I memorized the keypad. Count the lines between the lines. Hello, Ginger. Hello, Ginger. Hello. This is you from, the future. You from the future. Count the lines Count that the make line. up the X and O's. Don't look at me. War cheat. War cheat. That's cool too. That's cool too. Okay, I totes figured it out. It is uh this one. Watch guys, be amazed. Oh man. Hot dang. Hot. I'm too good. I'm a master at video games. It only took me two minutes to figure that out by myself, with absolutely no help from anything. Where are we? And what is that that god awful noise? Oh. Hello? Hey, this is where the kid was trying to pull out one of the things, right? Everyone here is dead. They've all been killed. Ghosts in this house are not like ghosts in other houses. If they're looking for something specific, their corpses actually get up. Someone threw the lockdown switch and I can't get out. I finally found the override key, but I'm not sure exactly where the switch is. Although I might have an idea. I remember overhearing a conversation Michael was having a few months ago about something which was located underground. I'm confused as to whether or not this underground location is the main basement where Myrtle's coffin is. I went down there a while ago and looked around, but it appears to be mostly a storage space. Maybe I missed it. The basement is extremely dark, even with a flashlight. Maybe I need to go search again more thoroughly. I need to find the switch. My very life depends on it, as do the lives of many future wanderers if this doesn't stop. One of the most unsettling things about this funeral home is that after a while, you start to feel as though it's hanging by a thread and on the verge of collapsing, prevented only by the mysterious force that fills the building. It's such a strange feeling. Maybe I'm not the same skeptic I was before working here. But where is that damn switch? In the deepest part of the house. Thank you, nurse man. Please open.
I don't want to go over there. X marks the spot. What does this even mean? Okay, what's oh my god? Oh, what's the... All right, so okay, I got it. It's in my head. It's in my noggin. We can do this. No. Okay, we're going, and I'm dead again. Ha, 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 ha.